Hey guys, for 20, and I haven't done one of these in a while, but welcome back to another 2024 election prediction. This time we are doing a pretty interesting one. This is going to be a good one. Candace Owens versus Joe Biden. All right, now um, we all know who Joe Biden is. He's the president right now. If you somehow don't know him, look him up. I'm not going to explain him. Of course, Biden is liberal, a Democrat. He's in office right now. You know, he's handling COVID pretty well. Um, His approval rating is up. But again, this is 2024. Things could happen. But I'm going to assume that nothing really shook his presidency that much. But um, I definitely do think that it would that his approval rating would be a little bit lower than it was like during COVID. You know, um, right now it's kind of gradually going lower and lower. I think it'd be a little bit lower than now. But Candace Owens, you might not know Candace Owens, and I do think that she should be on the 2024 election Wikipedia page as a potential Republican, because you go on the internet, you already see uh Candace Owens 2024 merch, like those sweatshirts and shirts and stickers and all that. Now who is Candace? Owens. Um, she was this woman. And, you know, I'm, it's true that, um, you would think that she would be a Democrat, you know, her speaking like an, an activist like this. Um, I mean, the vast majority of African American women are very liberal Democrats. I mean, we see here, um, she, now, Candace Owens is extremely, is extremely, um, unique, I'll say. Initially critical of Donald Trump and the Republican Party, Owens eventually became um, became known for her pro-Trump activism as a black woman. In addition to her, criticiz- her criticism, this is a big part here, in addition to her criticism of Black Lives Matter and the Democratic Party. I mean, you see here, I mean, that's just insane. She's critical of Black Lives Matter, right? And she's an African-American woman activist, right? She's, I mean, she's very unique. And she's very popular among the Republican Party, you know, of course, the ones who aren't racist in the South, you know, um, who aren't for segregation still. But yeah, again, she, she, I mean, and Candace Owens is a great debater. I mean, you just watch clips of her, I mean, like on news and stuff, and she will destroy you if, if you don't, if you disagree with her, she will completely demolish you. Like, I've seen her just destroy, like, you know, like, middle-aged men. It's hilarious, really. So how well should would she do against Joe Biden? I think she would do pretty well, but um, I can't say now, you know, if she would totally win the presidency. Of course, I can't say now. Uh, Biden would win first district. Um, I'm doing safe Democratic states here, um, plus Illinois. That's about it. Um, you know, Candace Owens, she's going to put up a good fight because, you know, the... the well, I shouldn't say the Republicans, really. The United States, just the United States wants someone who, who, you know, like in a Trump sense, like who promises that they will make America great again. And, and Candace Owens is that type of person. You know, um, Mitt Romney is not. John McCain is not. Hillary Clinton is not. It's someone like Donald Trump, or like Candace Owens in this case. Um, oops. Alaska would go red, definitely. Um, I gave Indiana likely to Candace Owens, um, you know. Um, and I also, very notably, I gave, uh, South, I, I gave, uh, Candace Owens, South Carolina, by a solid margin. And that's pretty good, because he's why she's an African American, you know, she's going to win so many African American votes. I, well... You know, actually thinking about it, I actually don't think she would. I think she would get huge black Republican turnout. Republican turnout. But overall, I don't think she would, actually realizing what I just said, because she criticizes Black Lives Matter so much, right? I don't think she would do very well among African Americans. Again, I think she would get an extremely high turnout among Republican African Americans. But, you know, really... Just African-Americans in general, I don't think she would do good with because of her criticism of Black Lives Matter. Um, hmm. I think Biden would carry Minnesota, um, by a likely margin. We do need to remember how, uh, um, how conservative Candace Owens is. She's not liberal at all. Um, I think Joe Biden would carry Colorado and New Mexico. I would give New Mexico to him by a lean margin. But it really could be likely, I think. Um, let's head over to Nevada. 
where I think, yeah, I think Biden would win, I think by tilt margin. All right, I think this could go either way, but I think it would go to Biden because he is the safer choice, right? Um, in Arizona, yeah, I think I'll give Arizona to Kansas Owens by lean margin. This is a very conservative area, and we need to remember that Kansas Owens doesn't have a history as president while Donald Trump does. I think Kansas Owens in some states would be stronger than Trump, you know, maybe not states like Ohio, Indiana, um, Missouri, Iowa, where it's very conservative and they go, you know, and Trump is so popular among conservatives because we look here, Candace Owens was born in Stamford, Connecticut, you know, she lived in the, in New England, or, you know, she lives in New England, University of Rhode Island, you know, she's, she lives in highly populated states, right, um, you know, so Trump is going to be more popular in states like Indiana, Iowa, um, yeah, I forgot. Um, I think Missouri would go likely. I think definitely Indy. I'll actually give Iowa a lean to Candace Owens, but um, I think Missouri would go likely Republican. Um, hmm. You know, I do think Candace Owens would have great turnout in North Carolina, and I think that she could win it by a lean margin because of because of of African American turnout. Um, among Republicans, you know, like Republican African American turnout, as I was mentioning before, and this isn't like so many liberal uh, African Americans are going to turn out so heavily against her because she is a black woman. You know, it's not they're going to be so um, you know, like they were anti-Trump because you know they share something with her. They are both African Americans, so you know they're not going to hate on her as much as the as they would to the Democrats. Um, in Virginia, um, yeah, I'll give Virginia to Biden by a lean margin. Um, you know, I think she would perform pretty well in Virginia. Uh, hmm. Let's go to Wisconsin. Well, actually, let me just do the blue wall real quick. I think, Joe, and you might, you probably disagree with me, but I think Joe Biden would win all three. Pennsylvania and Wisconsin by a margin. Because these are industrial states. Sure, it's kind of new Connecticut. It's in the north, especially Pennsylvania. But these are industrial states where Biden is going to be more popular. Candace Owens doesn't really have a history with helping, with helping, um, you know, industry workers, factory workers. While Trump has. Trump is a businessman. He's going to be more popular. Trump carried all three in 2016. I don't think Candace Owens would in 2024. And with that, Joe Biden has won the presidency, but we have to do the rest either way. Um, I think Candace Owens would extremely narrowly carry Ohio. Um, remember, this is not Trump. Sure, Trump carried it by, what, 8%, 10% in 2020. But Candace Owens doesn't have as much of an appeal here. Um, but, yeah, I think she would narrowly win it still. In Georgia, I think Biden would win. Uh, for the same reasons that I gave him, like, Virginia. Because this does have many... You know, so many more. I'll give it to him by a tilt margin, though. So many more African Americans um registered to vote, and I think many would vote um not against her, but rather vote for Biden because of Owen, Owen's uh, criticism to Black Lives Matter. Let's go to New Hampshire. I do think Biden would win. I'll give it to him by a likely margin. In Florida, Florida's hard to call. Because as a young population, I would go to Owens, and, you know, this is a conservative state. But I think Candace Owens is a bit too radical. Yeah, I really do. I think by a tilt margin, I think Florida would have to go to Biden. I do. Um, hmm. Texas is also very hard to call. It went to Biden by only 5.6 points in, uh, 5.6% in 2020. So, you know, either candidates have a shot. I think it's going to be a lean margin. Um, anyway. And I really, you know, African Americans make up 10% of Texas, um, which is lower compared to other southern states. But, but you know, many aren't going to vote for her. I don't think Owens' race is going to help her very much. I'll give Texas to Biden by a lean margin. We, do, we need to remember that Owens is extremely radical. So, therefore, Joe Biden wants the presidency by landslide. 362 electoral votes. Only 270 are needed, so he gets about, what, 92 extra electoral votes. Candace Owens wins 197 electoral votes. Let's look at some best-case scenarios. Um, so any lean Democratic state, um, 
if they go Republican, look at that. Candace Owens wins with 295. If Biden takes all these states back and wins um, Ohio, the only lean Republican state, then he wins by a larger margin. And a lean, or I'm sorry, that was still lean Republican states, he wins by, he wins with 412. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. I mean, truly, I really want this. I want to reach a thousand subscribers one day so I can make money off YouTube. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe again. Joe Biden wins this prediction. And yeah, see you all next time.